going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be kind of like an update on the lights that I have put on the um, H2. I think the last time I uploaded a video uh, showing you the lights that I put up front in the grill, probably like 10 months ago. And I want to give you guys a quick update on how they're holding up, if they've been faded a little bit or any of the LEDs um, up front on the lights have been um going out on me or anything and i also want to give you a little bit of an idea of how i routed the cables um if you look up front right here i want to show you these are the lights that i got on the front grill and up there you can see You can see up here, that's a light bar. Now, one thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that I didn't wipe that light bar for this video or anything. Although it has taken, it has taken like a lot of um, rain and God knows, you know, all the um, uh, road debris and all of that. It still looks just like that. Even when it's raining, it doesn't get foggy or anything like some of the lights um, that you can find in Amazon for the same price as both of these lights. Quick reminder, on the description of this video, you're gonna find links, um, Amazon links for these two light bars. And they are also gonna find links for the um, wiring harness, which by the way, I wanna show you something just in case you order um, your harness for one of those videos and you, might see something different than what I'm about to show you. Let, let me show you one thing. These little switch right here is the one that came with the wiring harness that I ordered separate with that light bar that's up there. Now, the same link to order the um, wiring harness for the lights up front and instead of sending me something with a on and off switch like this, which by the way, lifts up. They sent me one that the switch you get, it's like this. Totally different. And it was supposed to be the same item. So keep that in mind. You might get this or you might get that. I'm gonna put post that link on the description of this video. Um, this one here doesn't come with a little hole on the back for a, for a screw or anything to put on. Again, totally different than that. This one I was able to um, put it on there because that space was empty and um, this one here with that tape I don't like that tape but I'm working on something to put it somewhere because initially what I did is I routed everything to the back and I had it sticking like right there but what happens is this tape I don't know if you guys ever use that double sided uh, tape with the heat it just just falls off so I want to try and find a, uh, a way, I think I'm already working on, on a little idea to um, permanently stick a bigger piece of plastic in here and put two holes on the side of the plastic and drill it somewhere where I don't mind drilling holes on. But again, I'm showing you this. I don't want you guys to look at my video and say, well, you posted a link with a totally different part. No, again, I use the same um, link for both of these and I got different um, different wire harnesses. They work, but they're different. So, there you go. This one, this is the one for the uh, lights on the um, on the grill. Um, went through hole that was already in the firewall, right, right there. Both of them went through that. Um, they all ended up, let me see if I can open. Now, not too long ago, I had to do something up front. So what you're gonna see right now, there's a mess of wires in there. The reason why, because I had to cut off all the wires and redo them all over again temporarily. So what you're gonna see now, is it's kind of like a mess, but I just wanna give you an idea how the wires. Um, this is something that I did a few days ago. Please don't judge me. I'm going to take all those wires off and reroute them again. Um, you can see I temporarily put the wires in there. 
the um, red and black wire that go to the dies up front. This is something that was temporarily only. I went off roading again and you can see all the mud and I haven't cleaned my uh, engine bay yet. But anyways, uh, the lights up front, the lights up, up on top. We go around the truck. Beautiful day out by the way. It's a shame that such a beautiful day out and we're going to such a bad situation all around the road. Which by the way, I want to take a minute to wish all of your family members are safe. Um, please don't leave the house if you don't have to. As you can see, I'm making a video in my driveway. Um, stay home. Stay safe. Don't leave the house if you don't have to. Help your own family members not get sick. And if you're a doctor, a nurse, or if you're an emergency responder, thank you for the help and thank you for the great job you guys are doing. I'm in Los Angeles. It's not as bad as in other places like New York. But again, it don't matter. Thank you for what you guys are doing. So, anyways, up front, these right here, this is the switch for the lights up on top. Same thing as the other um, cable. Both of them went through a hole that was already on the firewall, ended up in the engine compartment. Again, I had to take everything I had done, I had to take it apart a few days ago and redo it but this is only a temporary thing that i did really quick so the lights will function you guys can see that um i'm going to buy some of these you see these right here i'm going to buy some of that and put these cables through something like this i want to replace both of these so i can go ahead and rerouting with the headlight cables you can see the headlight um cables are like that that's exactly what I'm planning on doing because before I made a mistake of ordering something like this from Amazon and what happened a few days ago is that I noticed again excuse the mess I went out again before they closed all the local parks and, and I haven't cleaned my engine bay so went out off-roading again before they close all the local parks and I haven't cleaned anything yet so anyways I ordered some of these from Amazon and what happened was after I did all the install because some of the wiring harness, the two wiring harness that you're going to order, if you use the links that I want to post on the description of this video, for the most part the harness has these on it. Now there was a big part that was exposed like this right here. These cables don't come with the wiring harness. By the way, I, this is me. This don't come with the harness. I use what I ordered like this from Amazon to cover from here all the way to the lights and what I find out is that it didn't like it didn't like the uh, um, the heat I guess and they cracked and, and they started they cracked out and broke and they got toasted pretty much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my local um, hardware store which I think they they sell some of these that I've used previously and I'm going to use whatever they have because I trust it I used it previously on the outside that has taken a lot of sun and everything and it didn't toast like that. So excuse all this weird wiring. This is a last minute thing that I did because I was going out the other day at night and I wanted to have functioning lights up front. So anyways, through the firewall with the two um, harnesses that I, that I show you, two of the switches that I show you, went through the firewall. I ended up out here and kind of reroute it to the side of the battery this will get relocated because i also have a switch box that i order i don't know where to put it but i'm probably going to put it somewhere on this side all the connections can go on that box and then go out to wherever the lights might be um as far as the cable for the light up there that cable runs through the side right here it goes through the light that the top broke by the way these lights i ordered them from amazon not too long ago probably like four months ago and the top already broke and uh, the little gummy on the bottom is already cooked so I'm gonna have to replace that anyways cable for the light bar it goes to the side right here it goes through the hole in there I had to seal it up again it goes through the side of this pillar right here 
There's only two screws, one right there, one right here. Take that off, reroute everything through the side pillar, and then you can, I'm gonna show you. You can see the cable right there, and it goes through that side right there, which is just the door, right? You don't have to open any holes in there and anything. It goes through the back, and you can see the cable right here. It doesn't get pinched, so don't worry about it. That's not going to crush anything. And ends up right there. And these are the cables, obviously, for the lights up front. Again, this is something temporarily that I did the other day. Since I noticed the uh, plastic I ordered was all cracked up, I took that off. And I went to a hardware store, and they got me these cables. This is only like a temporary um, install, so I have lights when I went out um, off-roading at night. Now, again, as far as the lights, they still function just like they did when I first got them. Um, there's going to be links up there uh, to the old videos um, so you can see what you know what kind of output they uh, light output they provide keep in mind I'm only giving you uh, an opinion on these two lights the lights up front were sent to me by a company that will they, they send the lights to me and they say hey use them beat them up and then make a video out of it. Yes, I got the lights for free, but they didn't pay me to make that video. Main reason why I accepted these lights is because these are lights that most of us can afford. Um, and other people that want to modify their H2, they can afford something like this. These lights, um, I'm gonna provide links to the lights on the, on the description of this video. The light up, um, up on top which is a different brand I bought that one that light it's under a hundred dollars even with the wiring harness when you buy this both of these lights they come without the wiring harness um, even that light up, up on top different brand the one up front even with the wiring harness is under a hundred dollars and I can never be any happier than I am I was seconds away from spending $600 on a light bar. Again, I'm not saying it's overpriced. I'm just saying there's different quality um, stuff. Their light bars are $1,000. And I have got them before, not on the H2, but I have I paid $1,000 in the past for a, a, a light bar without the wiring harness. And I had to go to the shop like uh, four uh, four wheel parts or something like that and pay like $150 for them to reroute everything and to be honest that thousand dollar light bar and this sixty fifty dollar light bar same thing same exact thing obviously the thousand dollar light bar got a lifetime warranty um, I forgot the the uh, um, brand of that light that was a while ago again different truck it wasn't the H2 I think it was the F250 that I had but anyways, same thing. If you want to feel more comfortable paying five, six hundred thousand dollars for a light bar, because you think this is gonna break on you easier, hey, that's on you. Anyways, um, again, I'm gonna post link for both of these light bars in the description of this video. Um, if you guys want a clip of what the guy, the the kind of light output that these two guys put out together let me know and I'll probably make another video I have footage of that but I don't know what what which one of my hard drives kept it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put links up here right now to the previous video I made with these lights so you guys can see um, what the light output is again that hasn't changed at all they they're not foggy as you can see on the video I didn't wipe the lights so they look nice or anything. No, they just just the way they look. Some of the light bars that I have seen that other friends have got on Jeeps and on H2s, even on H1s, with different brand 
and some of these lights bars I'm talking about that are two three hundred dollars after a few months they tend to fuck a little bit and the the, the the it doesn't go away it just takes like that and there's nothing you can do you can't take the light bar apart to clean up the lens on the inside so hope it was of any help to you thanks again for watching stay home stay safe and we'll see you on the next one